Yeah, there was like this feeling around here like it was deja vu all over again from last night. Is that what that means? It, well, that's what Yogi Berra said. <laughs> and then and then all of a sudden you, know, you get you get that power play goal, the, the tip-in goal and the shot by Mitchell. And after that, it just finally seemed like you had the monkey off your back and now let's go out and, and go get him. Yeah, it was. I mean, I, I, that second goal was huge for us. But uh, it was nice to see a couple of freshmen get some really nice goals, too, because the more guys that get their first of the year, the more confident they feel, a little looser, and they're not pressing as much, and we can start being a little crisper offensively, which we saw tonight. Yeah, I mean, Mendel getting his, his first goal tonight and, and uh, Haken in with a, with a beautiful goal and had a tremendous setup to Colin Staub. And Staub was just snake bit tonight. He had so many chances from point-blank range, and, and it seemed like they went right to mitten no matter what. Yeah, well, their goaltender played really well. He's a good freshman goalie, and I was really pleased with our freshman goalie. He was, I mean, I never worried for a second, and uh, that's a credit to him. He was rock solid, played the puck well, took whistles when needed, managed the game, and really happy for Dayton for his confidence to grow. But, uh, you know, all in all, Stobby's addition magician this year leads our team in assists. Yeah, and, and the strangest part about this game, I don't think I've ever seen a game in which the penalty kill unit literally was the more offensive than the group that was on the power play on every shift. So every time you, you were on the penalty kill, I don't know how many scoring chances you came up with. And, of course, that led to the, the great penalty uh, shot for uh, Logan, uh, who was just – He's just a penalty-killing machine. Yes. All right, well, that's the way we want our penalty kill. We want to be more aggressive, especially down ice with the speed of our forwards. We think we can raise havoc and maybe create some uh, scoring opportunities on a shorthanded. And, uh, you know, I think we've unfortunately been at, like, 40% because we've only, like, three for five or something like that going into the game. So it was nice for us to get a five-minute and get some uh, reps at it. You know, this has just been a, a taxing, emotional um, – and just an exhausting weekend for you and your coaches and the players in the sense that you have the national championship banner raising last night. It's parents weekend, all the different logistical things that have to be put together. Are you in a, in a very, very happy, satisfied way now that this weekend is over? Uh, well, I'm just happy with the t way that our team continues to play better on Saturday night. We learn from not mistakes, but we learn how to be better. And we, and we grow, and uh, that's two weekends in a row. We keep doing that. I mean, I don't know if we can keep averaging 51 shots a night, but I think we're going to be better maybe offensively crisper, like I talked about. Well, and you, and you got that Halloween weekend coming up next weekend in Boston against Boston University and Boston College. And, uh, you know, uh, both teams, uh, especially Boston College, they lost again tonight. Uh, they're struggling, but both of those schools not only loaded with talent, but arguably two of the best young goaltenders in the country. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a great test. Last Two years ago when we went out there, we lost in uh, the last minute of BC, and we lost an overtime heartbreaker. So hopefully we can be on the other end of things, but it's going to be a great test for our team going on the road, four of our first six games against top ten teams ranked before the season. So I'm excited about that. But, Jay, uh, you know what? i got to say hi to my uh, lovely and dear mommy that watches, stays up on East Coast time, oh. 85, beautiful woman. Wow. She raised this beautiful I know. You, person she, here. She, she doesn't look a day And ever. she likes you, Jay. I thought, she was, the rare I thought she was in her early to mid-60s. Wow. So that is, that's stunning. That's that's just the genetics she's passed on to It's me. the water in Montreal. That's what <laughs> yeah, it is. That's what it is. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. And uh, if you'll have me in Boston, I'll be there. Yeah, well, you will be there. Okay. But you're not going to be my roommate. All right. Okay. Coach Montgomery, Pioneer Postgame continues on Sports Radio 104.3 The Fan. Yeah.